What I'm doing now is masking the hull and getting it ready to paint the dazzle camouflage pattern. The areas that are masked off are going to be the light tan. The areas that are open are going to be the dark gray, as you see in this picture right here. Now, I'm not going to mask any further up than this because uh, I'm going to wait for the superstructure to get all built up and then I'll do that later. <clears throat> so, this whole side, as far as the pattern goes, is done. I do have to mask off the red hull bottom. I don't want to get gray on that. And then there's a long line of masking tape which represents the black boot or water line that goes all the way around the ship. That's what this long skinny piece of masking tape represents. That'll be black there. Okay, so I'm going to continue right now and get the uh, bottom part of the hull masked off. All right, here is the masking process finished for the first color that I'm putting down, which will be the dark gray. The masked off areas, like I said before, are going to be tan. And of course, the entire bottom half of the hull is taped off so we don't get any paint on it. All right, here I am now working on the main superstructure of this ship, the tower, conning tower, if you will. I'm putting ladders, uh, some railings, some little miscellaneous things on here, uh, photo etch and plastic little tiny parts, this is all tweezer work, and it really tests your nerves. I've messed up a couple things already that nobody will ever see these mess-ups. I will know about them, but nobody else will. Um, that's pretty typical for me when I'm working with photo etch and small tiny parts like this. It all goes with my age, I guess you could say. I not as nimble as I used to be. At any rate, here's where we're at, and I'm gonna continue working on that. The next step is this one right here. Where I'm gonna start adding some more looks like some photo etch railing or something on there. Um yeah. And what else we got here? A couple of lights. I already added those lights. Yeah, I already did that. Uh, then these J12 parts that go up there. I don't know what those are. Some sort of a radar unit or range find. I don't know. It goes right there on the back of the tower here. Um, so... <clears throat> That's coming up next, and then the next page of the instructions, if I can move all this stuff out of the way. It's starting to look kind of interesting here. We're going to start building up the uh, funnels and the guns. Okay, coming up next. Now comes one of the hardest parts of the photo etch that I've come across yet. And that is this little mini railing right here. I had to bend in this position with a curve up there and then straight sides. And that's going to go 
right there on that plastic part. So hopefully I got it right. And what I'm going to use is, is initially, I'm not going to use super glue because I want to make sure I get this in the right position. But I'm going to use the, um, uh, what's it called? The Micro Crystal Clear, right? Yes, here it is. Here it is. The Micro Crystal Clear. I'm going to use that to tack it down on top of this plastic piece. That little guy right there. That's the plan. Let's see how well it works out. Um, before we start building the uh, funnels and such, this little step seven here, we need to make four of these anti-aircraft guns. There's the plastic parts on the J-Sprue, J10, and then there are some PE parts, A39, there's the shields. So we have to mate the shields to the plastic part. So I'm going to find those and we'll see how we go along with that. As you can see, I've been working on the funnels. This one I have the photo etch cap on. The grating, the grill, the funnel grill, it's on. This one is going to be next. First, have to put down this part, and then the larger grill, like this one, goes on top. So what I did to achieve the bend, the proper bend, was I found a pen. This pen right here. Let's see if I can get it in the camera. Where is it? There it is. Anyway, it's a. Uh, marking pen that the end of it was just the proper diameter of this funnel and I attached it to the top of this pen here at the bottom of this pen and uh, <clears throat> attached it with a little bit of um, micro crystal clear just to keep it tacked in place and then I bent it over the end of the pen and it uh, worked out pretty good. Anyhow, that's just the trick I used. <clears throat> I'm sure there's um, better ways to do it. So, as I said, I'm going to keep moving on with these funnels and get the, uh, the funnel top uh, put on this one. Okay, so I have the hull all painted up now with the whole red, the boots, boot line, water line, uh, the dazzle pattern came out pretty good I think now uh, I, I don't know if you remember what I was talking about in the last video or the one before that about these railings right here, how you have to be careful with them because they break real easy. Well, <clears throat> this one over here is broken tw twice, and I've glued it back together. And this one just broke when I was taking all the tape off, all the masking tape off. You look at these things the wrong way, and they break. <laughs> They're very, very fragile. <clears throat> so now, it not so bad that it broke, but it bent. So, i got to break out the uh, super glue, I guess, and put that back together. Anyhow, uh, we are at the point now where we can start putting the decks on. I have the two uh, funnels done with the photo etch on top. So those are ready to go. I started uh, working on the main superstructure here. Not quite done with this, but I'm going to wait because I want to glue this on top of the deck. Um, so, what's going to happen now is I'm going to get the decks out because they're all painted up and they have the wooden decks on them now. And I'm going to um, install them onto the hull. All right. Okay. Everywhere. 
I'd like to see Carol. Okay. Both the main decks are on now. I got the railing straightened out. Just have to remove those extra supports that were molded onto it. So far, looking pretty good, I think. Now that the decks are on, we can start uh, building up the superstructure and all the other little parts that go on here. So. so, moving along, looking all right. Okay, um, now we've turned the page on our instruction book and we are working on these steps, 15, 16, 17, 18. <clears throat> and that is uh, building the mast, the foremast. Um, the funnels are glued down, so is this main piece of superstructure. <clears throat> Plus, uh, I'm not sure if that's the radio radio cabin, the radio room there. Um, some boat uh, carriers. Some other little miscellaneous things. They show um, putting together some of these uh, little, what are they called, a, a winch, I think. Anyway, <clears throat> so what I've already done is attached this main piece of superstructure on. I have painted, or I, I've glued on these two uh, funnels. And next I'm going to put down this little piece here, find these, and glue them down. And we're going to make this uh, mast right here. Plus these two uh, wench, wenches right here. Winches. <laughs> I can't think of the right name for these things. Anyway, we're going to put those down. All right, so here we go. So before I build and install the uh, main mast on this thing, or attach any more parts, I wanted to show you what I have done so far. I have the dazzle pattern painted onto the main superstructure in the funnels as well as the guns um, I need to do a little touch up on them but um, they're basically done now and um, so far I'm happy with it not too bad I guess these turrets um, are just set on here they're not glued down um, these main parts are all glued down though this conning tower part, the funnels, and this back part, and this little radio room cabin thing right here in the middle. It is also glued down. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. 
we'll end it here and we will uh, continue on next time so thanks for watching have a good day